Donald Trump wants to lay down the law, heaping praise on the police, but delivering a scathing verdict on the judges deciding the fate of his immigration order. I will not comment on the statements made by uh, certainly one judge, but I have to be honest that if these judges wanted to, in my opinion, uh, help the court in terms of respect for the court, they do what they should be doing. I mean, it's, it's so sad. Wanted he tried to, to litigate the case opinion, himself by reading a legal document. He may, by proclamation, and for such period as he shall deem necessary. So here it is. People coming in. Suspend the entry of all aliens. Right? That's what it says. It's not like, again, a bad high school student would understand this. The president is setting the stage for a dramatic legal battle in a country already sharply divided. I think the Trump administration is taking us down a very slippery slope. I think President Trump uh, is extinguishing the light that the United States has provided to the world. Not only the light of refuge and safety, but the light of, se of security and really an economic and moral powerhouse for the globe. Whoever loses is likely to take their case here, the Supreme Court. Donald Trump is taking a step into the unknown and there could be treacherous waters ahead. It is one thing to criticize a decision, but quite another to attack the authority of a sitting judge. But the president appears to be preoccupied with the family brand. On Twitter, he accused the department store Nordstrom of treating his daughter Ivanka unfairly by pulling her products off the shelves. His press secretary insists it's personal. This is a direct attack on his policies uh, and her, her name. As a, in, and so that, that there's clearly an attempt for him to stand up for her because she is being maligned because they have a problem with his policies. Nordstrom say the decision was based on sales performance, but Trump believes it's pure punishment, and he's willing to use the White House to drive his defense. Cordelia Lynch, Sky News, Washington.